Hello friends, welcome to our channel and in this video we will discuss about how to use conditional formatting to apply this drive through. We have the serial number function, we have the task to do column and we have the last status column. Now suppose if we have completed our first task which is utility expense, we only need to mark here and it will highlight it with the strike through. Similarly, we only need to mark here and it will automatically strike through the task with the color. This is how we will discuss in the example also about how to create such type of function in which we only need to mark and it will automatically create strike through and highlight the color. Let's start our example. We have the condition formatting pattern. We have the serial number column. We have the task column which we need to perform. We can add our own. And we have the status column in which we need to create such type of strike through. First, we select the column and go here in the developer option. And in the developer, you can see insert function and select the checkbox and place the checkbox in the column after placing first we need to remove the comments in it and we first need to remove it and after removing the comments we need to place this checkbox in the center or in the position in which it will make it presentable now we only need to select the whole cell and drag it down to apply this checkbox in the remaining. Now we need to link the cell so use right click and in the format control option a box will appear. And to link the box first we need to select the cell in which we need to link it so you can see here it gives us the reference of the cell which we link now press ok similarly we use the same technique for the remaining cells go here in the format control in the link cell link the cell which we need to connect we need to link each checkbox with the separate column or separate cell otherwise it will connect one cell with the different checkbox so we need to select separate cell for each checkbox this is how similarly we will link all the checkbox by using the same practice. Again we need to go here in the format in the link cell and link the cell with the reference. Again right click format control click on link cell and select the cell for the link and ok. For the second last function again go here in the format control link cell and select the cell for the link this is the most powerful function that we use in the data validation it will help us to make different examples for our own use now again link the cell and press here ok now you can see if we click on the cell it says true and if unmarked it says false similarly we only need to tick on the cell so it will tell us true and if we unmark it so it will tell us false this is how we first need to link the cells after linking the cells we need to select the whole serial column and after selecting the serial column we need to go here in the home tab and in the home tab you can see here conditional formatting option go here in the new rule option and in the new rule you can see here the last option use a formula and in the formula we need to write here the formula manually equals to if bracket open now we need to select the reference of the cell which is b5 so we can click on the cell so it will create the reference now we need to remove the dollar sign because dollar sign make it constant and use here equals to true comma 
true comma and last we write false bracket close this is how we have used the formula here we go here in the format option to strike create strike and color so in the font option we click on strike true you can see here the reflection make italic and we can add the color by using the fill tab and in the fill tab we have the different colors you can select the color as per your own choice or as per your own desire click here ok and again we need to click on ok so it will create it now we can test this function as well use the same technique for the task to do as well again select the whole column go here in the conditional formatting new rule function and in the new rule use the last option which is use a formula in the formula again select the or again put the formula manually equals to if bracket open we need to use the reference of the cell which is b5 equals to true comma true comma false bracket close after closing the bracket we only need to go here in the format in the format first we go here in the tab or you can select the cell color and in the font we need to use the strike through and italic select the italic and strike through so you can see the reflection as well now click on ok and again we need to click on ok now we can test our formula we only need to click on mark so you can see here it created a strike through and the color as well this is the simplest function that we can use and if we unmark it so it will get the function in the similar way now we only need to hide this column and we can test our formula again you can see here with the mark we will get the strike through and color this is how we can use the conditional formatting function